It's Audrey from Mom Generation. So today we're building a hexafish or a six pin fishtail. This is what the final product looks like. My sons are obsessed with this. So this is what you need for this. You're gonna have to use two of the rainbow looms. I like to have them facing with the arrows facing out. You know, for me, the benefit is you have these openings here, which really help me kind of get in. So I like that piece of it. So you need your hook. And you need a C clip, obviously. And then as far as bands, you're gonna need a bunch of them. So I'm gonna do a rainbow one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six colors. And you're gonna need 18 bands of each color. So I'm gonna need 18 red, 18 orange, 18 yellow, and so on. So pick whatever colors you want. And then you're gonna get, I have the color black right here. You're gonna get six starter bands. So that's what you need to get this started. So the first step is to take your starter bands and you're going to make figure eights over the pegs. So doesn't matter what ones you start with, these are just the starter bands. And believe it or not, they're even going to be cut off at the end with scissors. So just make a quick figure eight, just like this, and then just go throughout all the pegs. So this is what it's going to look like after you do the figure eights around the hexagon. And just like a fishtail, you know, I have all my figure eights and I'm now going to layer two elastic bands on top. And I, again, decided to do the rainbow colors. So I'm going to take my red, just going to put it all around the hexagon, just like the regular fishtail, except obviously we have six pins that we're using and an orange right over the red. It's just like that. So the next step is, just like a regular fishtail, you're going to take your band, your, the bottom one, the starter bands, you're going to loop them over the top of the peg. So my color is black, and take both of them, and I'll loop it right over just like that. And I'm just going to go around the whole hexagon, just like that. And it's super easy. Now where I'm doing the rainbow, so you know, remember you're always working with three bands when you're doing the fishtail. So I'm going to take the yellow. Put it right on top, just like this. I'm gonna grab my hook, and it's always the bottom color you're gonna loop over the top. So it's gonna be the red. So I'm just gonna grab the red band with my hook, put it right over the top. You can use your hands too if need be, if I can get this one over. Come on, little red band, I know you wanna get over. I got it. I keep saying that patience is the name of the game when you're doing the rainbow loom. Ah. There we go. Just like that. Take the red one over here. And you can even put the hook in there. You gotta separate them up. Take the red. Pop it over. And then again, just go around and make sure you have your next color. And you can see how easy it is to get to the yeah. band with the with the arrows facing away. Yeah, it is a really good benefit to do it this way. Otherwise I mean, you're digging underneath. Okay. And the red one right here. And then I have my green band because at that point I'll only be working with two. And I can do the green. You do want to watch though because you don't have the ridge, so you don't want to pop your top band back over the peg. Right, that would accident. not be good. Take the green, pop it right over the top. Again, just like the fishtail, the simple fishtail. You know, the only difference is, is that you're working with obviously six, not just one. So because I know orange now is going to be the bottom color, you're just going to go in. It's almost like very relaxing just to go in and do this. I guess rainbow looming would be the modern day what knitting in a way <laughs> something like that right no it's relaxing once you kind of get into your groove kind of know what you're doing okay so now this takes a little bit of time but what is the cool thing is as you can see and as you build it starts to expand I kind of like to call this almost looks like a spider web but if you kind of tilt your loom up you can actually see that it's actually building through underneath there. 
So, and even underneath, you can see right there, it's just all coming together. And you just keep again, it's just like the fishtail. You're always gonna have three bands, and you're just gonna keep pulling the bottom layer on top of all the pegs and just keep going around. Okay, so before I clip it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out because I know right now it doesn't look like it's the kind of bracelet that you're gonna wear because it's so thick. But watch when I stretch it out, it's really gonna just make it, it's gonna elongate it. Look at that, just like that. So it's gonna make it even more like that. So you're really gonna stretch just like that. You gotta really add some strength to it. Okay, so now I'm going to start the process of clipping it. So believe it or not, this is 112 bands. And what I'm going to do now, this is the first step in how we're going to end this. So first, you're going to take, my color is blue. You're going to take the elastic that's on the bottom. And you're literally just going to loop it over the pegs. This should be very easy to do. So I'm going to move the purple one out of the way. Go down to the blue one. And literally... Just put over the peg, just like that. So now you have one band left. So I'm just going to go all around and do this on every peg. Just again, that bottom elastic, and you're just going to loop it right over the peg. Don't be afraid to, to get in there and use your hands if you need to. You put in all this time and effort. You want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Just like that. And what's my rule of thumb here? Patience. There we go. Make it easy for you. It's going to look really cool when it's done. Okay, so the next step is turning the hexagon into a triangle. So I'm going to tell you right now, be really careful on this step because I dropped one of the elastics in my first take and it took me a whole lot of time to fix it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, we're going to start with this elastic right here. And we're just going to take it off the peg and put it on this one. So I'm going to show you. So just take it off the peg and put it on this one just like that. And you can use your hands if you need to just to make sure that you guide it and get it there. So now we're going to put this elastic band on this one. And again, patience needs to be like the mantra of these because you truly don't want to drop it. Okay. And then we're going to move this one over here. Nice. And slow. I'm actually even going to use my hands because I don't want to drop it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me fix it. I do not want to lose this elastic. Get your hand in there and move it down. And just like that, you have the triangle. See that? Okay, so the next step is to take your extra band, mine is red, and you're actually just going to put it right over the pegs to form a triangle. So right where the triangle is, you're just going to put this elastic band right over them, just like this. Okay, and then the next step is you're going to take the bottom two elastics on each side and wrap them over the band. So my colors are purple and red. I'm gonna take the elastics, the purple elastics, and I'm going to work them over the red. So, and again, nice and slow. You can use your fingers. Just keep the red one in place so that they will look like this, okay? Just make sure this red one stays in place. So see that? They just wrap right over it. So let me do this side. Grab my purple elastics. And really use the <clears throat> the hole on the peg over here. It will help out a lot. Pull it right over the red elastic. Bring it down. And then move this other extra hook I have. And then this side right here. Take your hook. They're gonna go really slow. My sons are gonna be so happy when they see this. And then easily bring it over the red. Just like that. Okay, so it will look like this at the end. Okay, so the next step, what I ended up doing was taking it off the loom and just putting the three red 
loops the bands right on my hook. I think this is the easiest way to do the C-clip for this part. So put them on the hook. You're going to take your C-clip, which I have right here, and you're going to put the C-clip through the middle of each of them. So there's one, there's two, and come on little guy, there's three. So my C-clip right now, as you can tell, is through all three of the bands. Okay, so now we're going to hook this end to back onto the loom. So you flip the bracelet over, you can see the black bands here, this was the other side, and the original colors that I started with, which is the uh, orange and the red. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to hook the original two colors, you're not going to get the black, you're going to get these right over your hook, and you're going to form a hexagon again. So I'm going to kick it off right here. Okay, and then the next one will go over here. Don't be afraid to use your hands to help you and to help guide you to hook these two bands here. We got the red, we got the orange. You don't want to get the black. Make sure I get them. It will get easier as you go. It's just a little tight right now. Put these right on. There's two sides. Okay, so the next step, you're going to grab a pair of scissors and don't get nervous, but you're actually going to cut the, for me, the black bands, the starter bands, because at this point they are completely useless. So you're going to go around, you're going to just pull, like I'm going to clip these two black bands right here, just like this, you're making me nervous. Okay, so, and just going to cut that and then just keep cutting. Okay, so the next step is to take the bottom elastic and put it over the peg. So you're going to like literally be putting the bottom elastic over the peg, which would be over the top elastic here. So I know that, make sure you know what color should be on the bottom because they might be a little twisted. So I know that I did the rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So I know that my orange is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to take my um, orange here and I'm just going to lift it over the peg just like that. Take the orange here and lift it over the red and just go around the circle and just keep pulling that bottom elastic over the top. Okay, so the next step, just like we did on the other side, as you can tell, this is like, obviously we're doing the same thing, but you're gonna literally just put this elastic on this peg, this one on this one, this one on this one, so just like this. So you're gonna take this band, pop it over this one, just like that. Take this band, take it off, pop it over this one, and this band, so you can see, take this band off, and we're going to pop it over this one to now have a triangle. Okay, and again, just like we did on the bottom, we're going to take an extra band, I'm going to use red, make a triangle, and you're going to take your bottom two bands, and you're going to loop them over the top. So I'll take my two bottom reds over here. Make sure you have just have the bottoms. Oh, I don't wanna I don't want them all coming off. That would be a pain in the butt. Let me start over. Oh, let me just go like that and move this band back. Oops, don't be afraid to use your hands. Okay, and just to keep this one placed. You don't want to mess up at this point now. So again, take these two bands, not the top one, and you're just going to put them over this top red band, just like that. Okay, and there's one side. I'm going to grab the two bottom bands here, I'm going to put them over this top one, and the two bottom bands here and put it over the top one just like that and then we're good okay so the next step you're going to take each elastic I'm going to put them all over one peg so 
down there. Let's this around. Let's over here. And you're going to grab the other side of this. And you're going to grab the C clip on this side. And you're going to loop all of these onto here. So I'm going to grab them all up with my hook. Just like this, take them right off. Just like that. And we're going to get them all right on and into the C clip. Just like that. Look at that. How cool does that look? Yay!